Hey guys, Dave here. As you all know, that with the caravan, you get a squillion keys. All right, it's never simple. It's never one key opens every single lock. And let me tell you, when the caravan companies offer to give you key the same, just ask them how many are actually keyed the same. Well, I think I paid four or $500 to have them keyed the same. And in the end, I had three items on the outside of my van that were keyed the same. All right, now, with all the keys, you'll have keys for your uh, generator box, your gas box, you'll have them for your uh, tunnel boot, you'll have them for your entertainment hatch, you'll have them for your key, your tables, toilet, you'll have them for all the different uh, water filler points, all right, you'll have a different key for everything. All right, I decided, yep, I'm gonna get keyed alike, thinking that, hey, one key, this is going to be easy. It'll unlock everything. Nope. So, what happened was, my key to like on this particular van only opens three doors. It opens the toilet, it opens the uh, entertainment hatch, and it, empty, it opens a storage hatch on the rear of the van. It was going to open the tunnel boot, however, I elected to go with a bigger tunnel boot, and um, we had different locks. All right, we've gone with the uh, Weber tunnel boot or something they called it I can't remember off the top of my head but because it is a bigger boot so to speak we have different locks all right they're no longer the Tedford locks now not sure whether you can actually tell the height difference all right it is fair a little bit wider and a little bit taller okay now supposedly that's to allow putting barbecues and stuff in but what I've decided to do is put my barbecue in my front little bin here which i'll give you a look later on so going back to the keys right so we have different key for that we have a different key for your storage bins on the front one there the gas side there and then where i've got my generator over there you have a door key you have keys for your uh tables right i have two tables obviously the one here at the front of the van and then one towards the rear of the van being here okay this is a tetford key Thing. this is where my uh, entertainment outdoor entertainment system and my cruise master uh, controls for my uh, airbags all right so that's Tedford so yes it will open that this is the second storage container all right which is Tedford so it'll open that and as I mentioned before we come around to the cassette where the toilet is and again because it's Tedford Yes, it will open that. Right, that is the only thing that, or well, the only three uh, compartments that I can open with my key to light key. Therefore, what I had to do was, actually I spoke to JB, and they actually were pretty good. They actually come up and said, hey, look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a bit of a refund, all right? Because it seems ridiculous paying that amount of money to only be able to open up three different locks. What we decided to do was go to Officeworks and we picked up two key tag racks. So you've got one here and one here that I have already opened. As you can see, there is a myriad of keys. What I've also done is I've bought some nano tape. All right, this nano tape is two sided tape, and apparently that's the bee's knees. Pretty good gear from what I hear. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a little piece of that, stick it on the back of my key rack on here and on here and then I'm gonna place it onto our cupboard all right this is where the wife wants it to go she wants it to go one on here and one a little bit lower all right all the keys will be out of sight okay I myself I wanted the keys to go here on this wall purely for ease of access outside the van you want to get into something open the door up reach in grab a key away you go but no Apparently, that makes the van look untidy, according to the wife. So, she wins, and yes, this is where it's going, inside our cupboard door. Righto. As I said before, $8.95 from Officeworks. Alright, you can get bigger ones, you can get smaller ones, but these are the ones that will uh, make uh, do us for what we need. Each of them come with two little bits of white double-sided tape and a couple of screws now if you want to you can screw straight into the uh, cupboard not a problem we did that on our last fan 
However, for this particular van, we're going to try this nano tape. See whether it holds. If it doesn't, I've got the screws, got my drill, no dramas. I'll screw them in. As you can see, the screws aren't that big, so they're not going to pierce through. They'll be just the right size. Remember, there will be a bit taken up also within the actual uh, key tag rack. So when it goes on, it's only going to go through that far. Right, not far at all. And you know it will stay there. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press pause and I'm going to cut myself some of the tape, apply the tape, and I'll put them on. Once I've put them on, I'll give you a bit of a look. Okay, so what I've done is I've attached the little bit of tape, two sided of tape on here and on here. On the back of the tape, it has a little protective film you've just got to get off, which is a little bit of a muck around when you don't have nails like myself. Bear with me. Okay, so I've removed that. So they are there. Gonna come down here and I'm gonna apply it to the door. As you can see, put our little tags back in for any other keys that we decide to get, whether it be cars, keys for the car or uh, extra locks and stuff that we get on the van. Okay. There we have it. Keys hanging up and out of sight. Check the door shuts. Yep. Open up. There's the keys. Another job done. Now, one thing that we do like to do is bring with us our Foxtel wherever we travel. Somebody asked me the other day, how do we do that? Right, now with this particular van, it actually only came with the one L and B cable, this white one here. So what I did was I went to JCAR, I got a splitter box, screwed straight into the L and B cable, I bought two other cables from JCAR, whacked them on, and then the two cables, when I put my fox get my foxtail box from inside the house, bring it out. This is the end of one of the cables, both cables are the same, so it just looks like that. Plug straight into the back of the Foxtel. From the Foxtel, you then, obviously it's plugged into your sat dish, HDMI to your TV, bang, Foxtel wherever you go. Now, what we're doing at the moment is, we asked JB to actually put a shelf in here. Unfortunately, it was overlooked and they didn't do that. They put this little shelf here that's no good to anybody. So, on our first service, they've said, hey, look, yep, we'll rectify that. They're going to take this little shelf out, but put a proper full shelf in. Foxtel box will go up the top, and my vast and the sat box will both sit on the bottom shelf. All right, and the TV is over on the bracket, and we're good to go. All right, if you have any other questions about Foxtel, just uh, hit me up. Drop a comment down below. Um, if I can help, I will. All right, now a lot of people didn't know that you can actually take Foxtel boxes. Remember, with a Foxtel box, it's bringing in information. It's not putting out information. So you find a satellite, you get your sports and your TV sent in, happy days. Obviously, you do need a sat dish on your roof for that. And they can become expensive, depending on what sort you go with. Yeah, well, that's all I've got for today. Um, remember, if you like the videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, and, uh, if you have any comments, any questions, or uh, any critiques, or anything like that, please drop a comment down below. I look forward to hearing your feedback, and I uh, look forward to producing a little bit more content. Content. I hope today has been uh, helpful for some. Obviously, for others, they will already have known this. Some people that are just starting off may never have known that before with the keys. All right, handy little tip, out of the way, and you do have so many keys. Just thinking about it, what do you call someone with no body and no nose nobody knows <laughs> catches <laughs>